Wait in. I was figuring we're just about. You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Well, we need to go catch a ride so we can get the service truck fixed back up. We gotta drop this trailer. We gotta move the 75 so it's not in our way. We gotta move the 46 so it's not in the way of the garbage man. And uh, as you see, foggy morning so appreciate you guys watching along and we're gonna get right into it this morning and see how far we make it we're over here we got a pull hydraulic lines we made it nice and good that when we had drive shaft issues and we lost all our hydraulic fluid I put shutoffs on everything so you're a mechanic after all we didn't even need Robert chopper guy oh my god ran down to Napa and uh, got two new hoses Everything's got swivels to make life easier. We just got to feed it up through there um, And be good Lines are all done up Yep So now we're back to golden we got to put some hydraulic oil in I got a five gallon bucket pump which I was in need of one of them since The one that I had disappeared last year well, Disappeared in the move we big time it now. This tank was put on at some point, probably with the manure system. I'm not sure exactly, but so it is on there. It is very challenging to get in to fill it with the box on. So this is the only way to do it. So we'll put five gallons in it. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, new lines. I gotta let the ankle on, I guess. Coming in. Oh boy new lines on put a new radiator cap on the bottom gasket or the ceiling gasket was actually gone that is why uh, probably losing cooling over time so they're chopping I got a load on from the job we ran over I took one load off I'm gonna dump it here get loaded we're gonna go away drop it off at the other farm so that it's evened out and then uh, way empty, and then I can tell the chopper what I actually had in me, and he can calibrate the chopper off of that because we're passing Logan's scales anyways. And uh, then I know how much fits in this box because we were talking about it this morning. So, uh, hopefully I got the hydraulic lines going the right way. I think I do. Probably gotta put more than five gallons in it, but it'll be good for now. And it's unloaded. this way or what it could haul and then Aaron said well that ain't a bad idea because then you can uh, 
We can calibrate the chopper off that. So literally next door. I think you got wheat in. I believe that's what it is, but looks like he's over there. So we're gonna go do some learning. There we are. pulled in here so let's see where we're going i think they're working on legs and stuff you've never been here either oh we'll get it weighed up old school cool we gotta remember how to do this so slide that over till until it starts Down and out. There we go. Too far. One click. One click over there. Then we gotta fine tune it. Okay, so fine tune it right there. It is floating, so I take a slip, and you got the full, and you got empty, and put that in there, squeeze it, 44,520. So what we'll do is we'll get empty, come back and weigh it. We're dropping, dropping some corn on the bunk, on the scale, which isn't good. My bad, Logan. Isaiah filled it full. I'll clean that up. We'll grab the broom when we get back. So. Alrighty, load up. Drop that load, head it back up to weigh again and see what we got. Alrighty, we weighed in. I was figuring we're just about 12 ton on there. Um, we gotta do our extension piece the whole length so he can really heap it some more um on the one side for blowing in but we weighed 10 ton so just over 10 ton we weighed in so now he can calibrate it um and uh we'll get fueled up and head back down the manure boys are right after it so they're spreading on ground that we chopped yesterday three tractors they got the crawler in the pit things are good it is foggy as anything up where they're chopping, but as you've seen here, absolutely gorgeous day. So, kind of feel bad going to wrench on stuff, but we got to get some of our projects fin finished up so that uh, when we get into fall harvest for ourselves, we'll be in a good place. Made it over to the W9. Um, here's where we're at. Previously, yeah, we destroyed a piston. Um... Piston skirt or piston liner. Um, yeah, and some others are on their way. Definitely think it goes back to having issues on the fuel side or excessive fuel. Um, and there's a bunch of people that got worked up in the comments saying that the previous owner knew exactly what was going on this, but blah, blah, blah. He did not. So he bought that this truck um, and literally ran it a handful of times and it's just been sitting. That is why... It's part of it. The previous people might have had it turned up because they were, yeah, they might have had it turned up quite a bit. But this truck's had a lot of work done in the motor. Um, cam, cam bushings. They did put new injectors in it. Um, all sorts of things like that. The turbo, stuff like that. So it's a good base. What we got to figure out is if the block is still good. Um, and as Trent said, let's go ahead, tear it down. And then he can see if counter bore is okay. If counter bore is not good, then yeah, we need a block. I'm hoping that's good. Um, the price of a complete motor by the machines, every machine time, parts and labor, this, this will be good. And a lot of people said, why haven't you put that money into to the Mac, get it going? <clears throat> right now, 
I could have some work for the Mac, but not a ton. Um, this for hauling grain would be a lot, much more beneficial. We'll see if we get it done in that time. Um, but yeah, something, something with some legs underneath it because hauling fertilizer, hauling grain for myself, relax people. Um, yeah, a lot more comfort. So, all right, I'm gonna, as you see, it's been, it's been sitting here getting dusty. Oh, he pulled the one sleeve. Wow. So you can see the whole bottom of that went bye-bye. So Trent was here. He, uh, he gave me a rundown, a whole email of everything he's did, the, everything he looked at, his concerns, um, where we should go from there. And, uh. Yeah, I didn't realize that was pulled. So, alrighty, we're gonna have to pull them all. Honestly, it's just gonna it's gonna be some work. Honestly, I put the camber down and I've just been wrenching away, um, showing you guys some of this as I'm going. Just takes up a lot of time. We can pull that out now that we're gonna take it out, flip it on its side. Uh, yeah, that should come apart right there. Yeah, the intake cooler, pulling that right off right now. Um, then we just got fuel lines in the front and back. I'm struggling with some of that as far as getting them broken loose. Pull the two heads off, pistons come out. So got a lot of it stripped down um, to the point where there ain't going to be much left of this motor together when we get done. Should be good to just pull this right out. Takes a little bit of force. pin over there that just caught him. Oh, yep. Dowel pin on the corner. <clears throat> this one's got both fuel lines hooked to it, so we gotta make sure we Ow! Air cleaner got me. 
good there. Okay, it is stripped down and here's the cylinder with no sleeve in it. As you see, there's a cylinder right there. You guys really can't see, but there is a crack going right through that. That's the one and four that I said, oh. And right here, I guess you guys can't see much either there. There's cracks all swarming on them. So they all got heat. Well, that one's melted right there. If you can see the piece missing out of it. And there's a big crack right there. So, yeah, there was quite a bit of fuel to it um, at some point of its life. And the injectors that are in the heads are different than the other injectors. And the pump is different because we have the pump off the back. So, what up, Robert? Um, all right, we're going to pop some pistons out now that I got Robert to catch them and then bring them up. Is that your car? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to blow up. Um, I'll lay underneath it and I'll just pop a few up. So. Oh, we're back in action, dude. Yeah, it dies quick. All right, we're pulling pistons. GoPro's dying. Um, well, a little teardown action on the Kenworth. The Mac is back up to 100%-ish. Um, yeah, got quite a bit more to tear down on the Kenworth and... Hopefully that block's okay, and then it's gonna get a whole rebuild. Put that truck into a good spot, so. Alrighty, GoPros were dying. Um, didn't bring batteries with me. That is why you guys just saw a little bits and pieces, but appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.